So I just pulled up in the grass and that's the beauty of a shallow boat. So now I got to check out and here's the bay all lit up. We're right down at the end of Chimney Bay. What I have to check out is I'm seeing these are campsites that are numbered. So somebody might have that booked, like this site booked, but that's a public pavilion. And it's not actually that I'm taking up the campsite, but what I want to see, they have a, a dock over here with a board for rules and stuff. So we'll walk over there, take a little walk, see, and see what's all around here and find out what the rules are. Cause it's been a while since I've been here. I've been here a few times over off and on, but never stayed overnight here. I've stayed overnight nearby and usually someplace where, you know, I'm not apt to get into any trouble, <laughs> but I don't need a hefty fine. So we might as well, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that, but look how beautiful this is. I don't know if somebody planted these flowers or it just happens to be, but how cool. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous park. So it's, uh, I have a provincial park pass, but that does me no good here because this is a federal park. So um, I don't mind paying for the comfort of having such a nice spot. So I just want to see how much it is. And they have bathrooms in the back here, uh, composting or big outhouse, basically that type of thing. Oh, do I see a, oh no, no, I thought I saw one of the boys, boys slash girls with, um, with their sails up, but it's like an A-frame or something. That's just pretty. Oh, I should be, I should be looking back as well here. Oaks, Georgian Bay Islands National Park of Canada, and then a Francais. How cool is this? So here's another another way at the at the bathroom, I suppose. Nice little trail here. I wonder if they get here with ATV. Ooh, this makes me nervous. Let's dug up something and we can guess bears range in this area. So here's the dock. And look at the stairs. They actually some like made rock stairs at one time. Some of these older parks are just amazing. And there we are pulled into the weeds way over here. Daddy, oh, nice red tree. <laughs> okay, so uh, Georgian Bay Parks, I'm welcome. You're invited to follow our trails, uh, pay fees upon arrival. I'm happy to do that. Okay, uh, I read the instructions, so I cannot tie up to a tree, so I will move. So I'm tempted to come over and, uh, and put my boat right up against here, as close to shore as possible. But I'd like to take down my sails first. Anybody else showing up here? Not as yet. Because as I go out, I'm further into the wind. So this is the upside, oh, picture. This is the upside of uh, wilderness camping. That is the ideal spot for me, right over there. And yet I can't be there. So instead I have to pick a lesser of ideals, which, um, you know, I'm not gonna complain too much. Being on a dock won't kill me. I start rowing over to the dock. I, f I decide for the trouble of going over to that dock over there and I thought what the heck I might as well just anchor so we'll set the mizzen this is where the mizzen's really nice or cleat it and this little cleat thing I've got and now no matter what we're pointing into the wind and it seems to be coming out from roughly that direction I don't have to worry about getting fined it, it didn't make sense too bad though uh, don't know really if the gang's going to make it this far up. I had a bit of a head start, as I mentioned, so we'll hook up tomorrow. Time for me to show you how I do my soup in my, my futon. Ah, fondue. <laughs> well, they're both exotic names, right? And I'm going to put a candle lamp on and get some warmth. Well, mind you, just being out of the wind is going to be great. 
and I'm gonna go rest in the in the sort out out here a little bit and then go rest in the um, in the cabin. I'm set up. It's all cozy in here. Um, fogging up a bit, but that the candles will take care of that because it's cooler outside, right? But I'm about to do some cooking. Five tea lights. Gets it actually pretty hot. So the fondue. Ah, I got it right this time. Like that, that would heat up. I'm sure I could cook an egg on that. I haven't tried it, but I'm I'm relatively confident. But what I do have is I have this little pot that, and I have a piece of metal that I bent that goes in here, like so. And then this pot, I'll put a little bit of water in it, and it, uh, it hangs down. So managing humidity in a boat is kind of important. And while the uh, ceilings are insulated, don't see much unless I stick to the light. At any rate, it's good to have a heat source. That Now, part of the reason I'm getting some, some uh, moisture is I have a can of soup sitting in about mm, a couple of inches of water in a pot. So I'm getting some steam off that. And I just put my bread on top of the lid to warm it up. All right, so I'm set up here. I brought the cushions in. I'll put them up on the shelves up there for the night. Cool, eh? Okay, so I snacked a bit and uh, relaxed, and that is clean water uh, for washing up after. I can put in a little bit of cool water. And then my soup is here. It's steaming a bit as well. So yes, it's warm. So that's all I wanted is a warm meal and uh, being I'm eating out of a can, I bent my spoon so it's a little easier to grab stuff. So there we go. That'll be my supper and I toasted the bread. I showed you it on top. I afterwards put it on top of the can and put the lid on top. So it actually is toasty crusty. Cool, eh? <laughs> So I shut, shut down the candle, shut them off, and this will be, these are from Mountain Co-op, 12-hour candles, but they're non-paraffin, so that'll be on all night, and that'll keep the, the, the chill and the dampness out of the, it'll, it'll clear off. I'll, I'll air out before I go to bed a bit, Well, I have the vents open. So anyways... Onward to supper time, I had some veggies and some nuts, and so now looking forward to the soup. Bon appetit to Roy. Okay, supper's all done, um, but look at, uh, I don't know if you can see that, look at the moon rising there, how beautiful. I'll take, I'll take you outside. How beautiful is that? Ooh, I hear a fast boat buzzing along. And that nice little star there, beautiful. So there's a few things. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. Ah, too bad you can't see this. Stars are out, awesome. And I'm going to be shipping a lot of stuff outside. Water can go outside, cooler can go out in the cockpit. Uh, my candle cooker can go out in the cockpit. Um, anything that stays dry, my pot set can go out in the cockpit. I didn't make any dirty dishes, so, um, there's no reason. I have nothing to wash. All done. So there's the bed way, feet go way under, and it's, it's quite large. I put the, uh, cockpit cushions up. Up there, that one's folded neatly. That one I just shoved uh, because I'm sleeping. And this is the nighttime spot for the candles. It hangs uh, hangs off of a screw. Yeah, so this is my nighttime setup and uh, 
you know, I put the wool blanket, tucked it in underneath. Um, wool blankets uh, make a huge difference. I winter camp and use this same wool blanket and this same sleeping bag, actually. The boat is downright luxury. So shoving everything up here almost gives you your privacy. Although I've thought of doing, well, D, D has suggested a couple times I should do snap snap-on curtains, like how we have on Deanne's Rose. And one day, maybe I will. But uh, right now, really don't need it. I don't need that much privacy. Uh, uh, like I say, the big thing is the, the bathroom, and you can see the little screw heads there. That's I have like a shower shower curtain I cut that, that fits on those. And um, that makes this whole area pretty much private. It's raining. So cozy when it rains outside. And you're nice and tucked in. So I'm in bed already. So as a pillow, I have a, a bag for my sleeping bag and the other the other uh, blanket. I just put my uh, flannel pants in that same bag. And that's my pillow. Why carry an extra pillow? So that's my logic. So I'm just going to review some of my my filming today and that's my entertainment and then go to bed so good night all sweet dreams